Hi, and welcome back to the Litchfield Media YouTube channel. I'm your host, Melissa Litchfield, and in today's video, we are chatting all about Active Campaign, the number one email marketing software that is pretty popular in the online space. But I'm your host, Melissa Litchfield, your go to person for all things digital marketing, advertising, sales funnels for course creators, online businesses, and product based businesses. All right, before we head over into the tutorial, I want to go over a couple things. What is it? Conditional blocks are a way to show a specific person in your email to those via a condition. The condition would be if the lead has a tag or say they are located in a specific state or if they don't have a specific tag. There's so many options, but honestly, using tags is your best bet. How can you use it in real life? Well, I'll use my client as an example. In her post webinar email sequence, she wants a specific block to be shown only if the leads clicked the webinar broadcast link in the very first email. So she wants like a specific section in her email, a content block essentially to be shown, but only to those who have that specific webinar broadcast link tag. So how does this even benefit you? You're probably wondering, Melissa, why would I even need this? Why would I even consider using this in future emails? Well, it benefits you in a couple different ways. There's no need to create separate emails or sequences just so that a small bit of content reaches the right person, nor would you need to segment your sequence based on if a lead has a tag or not, this saves you some time simply because you're not needing to create another additional email or duplicate an email and swap out a section or delete a section just so that the email reaches the right person. This is perfect if you simply just need a small bit of information or one particular section to be shown to a specific segment of your list. All right, let's head on over to the tutorial. Okay, welcome back to the tutorial. We are inside of Active Campaign. As you can see, I have an email pulled up here. This was actually an email that I sent out to my email list last week. Shameless plug to get on the email list, 100%. So search for that link in the description. Hold the phone, you guys. I have a free resource for you. If you're watching this video, you wanna click the link above or below to get this free seven day nurture email sequence template. I even printed it out. It's about 13 pages long. There's specific sections where it's highlighted so you can customize and tweak the template to sound like yourself. That is important. We want the messaging to sound like you, but this template will get you started. It also comes with a 20 minute training from yours truly mapping out the entire strategy behind building your first lead gen email sequence funnel. And I'm also giving you a free show it landing page template. If you're a show it user, I'm a big fan. So you'll get that too. So click the link above or below somewhere around this video to snag your free copy of the email sequence template, the 20 minute training and the show it landing page template but all you need to do is drag over a content block. This is a content block, essentially. These are all the blocks that you can literally drag over. Um, so for a text block, that's what it would look like. Insert here. The way to make this conditional is to click on the gear icon, make conditional, and then you see this pop up here. So the pop-up will say conditional content block. It defaults on email address, but look at all the additional options that you could potentially trigger or show this particular content by. So I think the easiest one for me is definitely tag exists or tag does not exist. Although I feel like another option if you had like a brick and mortar business or maybe an e-commerce business is where you would want to send it to maybe like a particular state or geographical location or city and zip. Um, so you do have some ge geographical options there. And then I feel like some of these like contact form options would be interesting as well. But I do feel like the easiest, easy peasiest way is to do it by either a certain tag exists or does not exist. And then once you start to type in your tag, it should 
populate based on what you type in. So just make sure you type in exactly how the tag is spelled out. So this one populated, clicked on private broadcast link. I can click OK. And that means that this particular content block is only going to be shown to those that clicked on that particular link in any essential email. And that's conditional blocks. All right, that wraps up this mini tutorial today on conditional blocks inside of Active Campaign. What are they, how you can use it, and how it actually will benefit you and your business. Thanks for watching. Bye.